Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm a junior, um, and I study psychology, restorative justice, and education with a focus on at-risk and incarcerated youth and also just youth who are tangential to the criminal justice system. Um, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my plan process and how I got to where I am today at Bennington because I did not go in knowing what I wanted to study. Um, so the first class that I ever took in my primary discipline, which is restorative justice, was a class with Alyssa Del Tufo, um, the second semester of my freshman year. She was visiting faculty at the time and her class was in restorative justice and oral history. And before that point, I knew that I was interested in psychology and education um, and that I liked working with kids. And then I was also interested in um, incarceration, but I didn't know that there was a field where all of those intersected. And taking her class just made me feel very complete academically because it's a combination of all the things that I'm interested in into a discipline where I'm able to help people heal. Um, and it just felt very powerful and it made me feel as though the work that I was doing was purposeful and that I had intention and that I wasn't just taking classes to take classes, but I was taking classes to gain something tangible from it. And it was just a really amazing experience and I genuinely do not know where I would be if I had not taken that class. Um, and with that said, my experience working with my plan committee has also been incredible. Um, by the time I got to my plan meeting, I went in knowing pretty much exactly what I wanted to study, and I had a vague idea of how that would translate once I left Bennington. So the role that my plan committee actually played was telling me to study more broadly um, and telling me to really take advantage of the fact that Bennington has such a wide variety of disciplines and that they're all so intersectional. Um, so I'm going to take that advice, finally, I have not taken it yet, and I'm going to try and get into maybe like a banjo or a ukulele class next semester, because I think that my plan committee really helped me see the value in taking classes that aren't directly connected to my discipline, and helping me understand that just because it might not be a psychology class, that doesn't mean that it's not important to me as a person, um, because academics are really about like the whole self and the social self and all of that fun stuff um, and with that specific faculty members that I've been really lucky to work with Alyssa Del Tufo she has been my biggest inspiration and my biggest mentor since coming to Bennington working with her has allowed me to start a program at the high school and the middle school where we run restorative justice talking circles and help implement restorative practices and Without her, I genuinely do not know what I would be studying or what I would be doing right now. She's just been able to open so many doors for me, and I'm just so grateful. And then David Andreg, who is a psychology faculty member, and he has been really helpful in helping me kind of actualize what I'm studying and helping me think about what will this translate to once I leave Bennington. <clears throat> and then Michael Cohen who is my advisor, and he does conflict resolution. Um, and it was through him that I also first heard about restorative justice. I took his class in conflict resolution at the same time that I took my restorative justice class. Um, and that intersection really helped me realize that restorative justice is something that is really meaningful to me and that I want to spend so much time doing, and I love it. And then finally, my fieldwork terms have been an amazing part of my plan. Um, specifically, my last field work term, I spent it at the University of Miami in the Children and Youth Law Clinic, and I studied a lot of therapeutic jurisprudence while working on uh, cases for foster children and um, people who have previously been in the foster care system and are now receiving extended foster care benefits. And through that, I've been able to take like the restorative justice portion and the conflict resolution portion of what I'm interested in and find therapeutic jurisprudence, which is a combination of restorative justice and legal practices. And I now have plans to hopefully go to law school. And I wouldn't have known that was something that I wanted to do had I not been exposed to that during my field work term. So that's how I got to where I am today. And that is my plan process.